Hi and welcome back everyone. In this episode, we build an abstract NFT contract with permission roles. This allows our marketplace to mint and transfer NFT tokens. If you're new on here, hey, I'm Robert, and in this YouTube series, you'll learn how to build a full stack NFT marketplace with or without lazy minting. Today, we will start with a short explanation on how to write smart contracts with Solidity based on a sample smart contract that comes with Hardhead. You will also learn what ABIs are and why we need it. Then we will use Open Zeppelin to build our abstract NFT contract from which we will derive our tutorial NFT collection, the Board Ape Fake Club. Before we get started, please smash the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell below so that you guys can keep up to date with all of our videos. Now, without further ado, let's aim into it. All right, we are back in our Visual Studio Code development environment and I have switched to our NFT marketplace directory yet. Now we split the terminal again here and we start our hardhead node with npx hardhead node. We open the contracts directory in the explorer on the left and here we find the greeter.sol solidity file which contains a sample smart contract named greeter that Harlet has created for us. Smart contracts are written in Solidity, which is the programming language for Ethereum. Its structure is comparable with other object-oriented programming languages like C++, Java or PHP. But instead of a class, we define a contract statement here. It also has a constructor, but this constructor is executed when the smart contract is deployed to the blockchain. This sample smart contract comes with a sample script.js file in the scripts directory, which basically deploys the smart contract to the blockchain. However, we don't use the script. Instead, we open the hardhead.config.js file and we create a new task to deploy the smart contract here. And we implement this deploy task as follows. But before we actually can deploy the smart contract, we have to compile it. We do this with this command, npx hardhead compile. This creates two Solidity files for us. And we can find these files in the explorer on the left, in the directory artifacts, contracts, greeter.sol. This directory contains two files now the greeter.json file and also a debug file. We open the greeter.json file and this file contains an ABI entry, which is the application binary interface for this smart contract. We need to use this ABI each time we want to interact with the smart contract. To some extent, we can also use this ABI to interact with other smart contracts, like smart contracts that derive from this contract and that have the same structure. We will use this knowledge to write NFT smart contracts for our marketplace. In order to deploy this sample smart contract to the blockchain, we use our hardhead task that we previously created. npx hardhead deploy network local host. This outputs the contract address of this sample smart contract here in the terminal window. But now we want to write our own smart contracts. And we delete the existing artifacts with this command, npx hardhead clean, which basically deletes the whole artifacts directory. And we also delete the greeter.sol sample contract. And for now, we also stop the hardhead node in the terminal window. 
Now we create three empty files in the contracts directory. In the nft.sol file, we will write an abstract smart contract that will act as a parent smart contract for the PAFC smart contract and other collections in our marketplace. PAFC stands for Board Ape Fake Club, but of course you can name these collections any way you like. And the marketplace.sol file will contain the marketplace logic which we will write in the following videos. Now let's switch back to our nft.sol file. In order to write this NFT smart contract quickly, we can reuse the Open Zeppelin library, which is a standard for secure blockchain applications. Open Zeppelin has a contracts wizard that allows us to easily design our NFT contract by clicking on the ERC721 tab. Here we could define the name and the symbol of this NFT smart contract. But we don't do this since we want to use this smart contract just as an abstract parent contract. But we define the features here that we eventually want to have available in our child smart contracts. We want our smart contracts to be mintable, therefore we choose mintable here. And we want them to provide the path to our NFT metadata, so we also choose URI storage here. And finally, we want to control the access to a smart contract through permission roles, and therefore we choose roles here. This created a nice template for our parent contract, and we copy it. And we paste it into our nft.sol file. This smart contract now also requires some other open Zeppelin contracts. We install them with this command. In the constructor of this smart contract, we can see that the token name and also the token symbol is hard-coded into this smart contract. But that's something we don't want. Since we want the name and the symbol to be defined by the child smart contracts. Therefore, we add these fields as parameters to the constructor. And we replace these hard-coded fields with these variables. Here we can see that the minter role was granted to the message sender. In the constructor, the message sender is the deployer of the contract. But we want to authorize also the marketplace to mint tokens. Therefore, we add this line to the constructor. It also allows the marketplace address to mint tokens. But first, we need to add it as an argument here. In addition to that, we want to allow the marketplace to transfer tokens from the seller to the buyer. Therefore, we create a new role named transfer role here. And we grant this role, this transfer role, to the marketplace in the constructor here. And then we need to write a method that allows us to transfer the token from one owner to another. Therefore, we look into the Open Zeppelin ERC721 smart contract if we can file a method there which is a good fit for this purpose. We find the function safe transfer from in the erc721.sol file on the Open Zeppelin GitHub and copy it to our project. Here we have to remove the virtual keyword and we overwrite this function in the ERC721 contract as follows. 
also we can remove the data argument here since this is empty by default. And finally, we can extend the permission to transfer the token by changing this line as follows. This line now doesn't restrict the transfer of tokens to just the owner of the token or other approved accounts anymore, but it also authorizes accounts that have the transfer role, which is our marketplace now. And now we make this contract an abstract contract by adding the abstract keyword to it. And we set the name of this contract to NFT, which is the same, na same name as the file name. Now we can switch to the board a fake club smart contract and derive it from the parent contract as follows. Here you can see that we derive the board a fake club smart contract from the NFT smart contract with the keyword is. And here we pass the address of the marketplace to the constructor of the BAFC contract when we deploy the contract. And here we pass the name, the symbol, and the address of the marketplace to the parent contract. In order to be able to deploy the NFT contract, we have to build a very basic marketplace contract first. We will implement the details of this marketplace contract in the following videos. Now we can compile these contracts with npx hardhead compile. And we can see that Hardhead has compiled our smart contracts without any errors. In order to be able to deploy these smart contracts to the blockchain, we switch back to our Hardhead config.js file. And here in the Hardhead deploy task, which we've created previously, we remove the deploy instructions for the sample contract. And we add the deploy instructions for new smart contracts as follows. And here you can see that first we deploy the marketplace contract. And then we deploy the board a fake club NFT contract. But for deploying this NFT contract, we pass the address of the marketplace to the constructor of the NFT contract. Now we start our local hardware node again. And then we deploy our smart contracts as follows. As a result, we get the address of the deployed marketplace contract and the address of the deployed BAFC NFT contract. Now we can also create an NFT collections.json file in the data directory. And we create a JSON array here that holds all NFT collections of our marketplace. As of now, we can add this new BAFC NFT collection with its new contract address, which we just created here to it. This new NFT collection is now displayed through the get NFT collections function in our service marketplace module. In order to be able to interact with these NFT smart contracts from the client side, we open the interface.js file which we've created in the third episode. And we import the nft.json file from the artifacts directory. This file has been created when we compiled the NFT smart contracts. It contains the ABI, the application binary interface of our abstract NFT smart contract. 
We use this ABI whenever we want to interact with a smart contract or an NFT collection that was derived from our abstract NFT contract. In the next line, we import the interface Ethereum that we also created in the third episode. Then we write the function maybe approve for all, which allows the NFT token owner to authorize the marketplace to sell his tokens. It is important to note that we just will call this function when we have to sell the NFTs through the blockchain. But we do not need to call this function if we want to sell the NFTs through lazy minted sales orders, if the NFT collection was created on our marketplace and not somewhere else. Here you can see that we interact with the NFT smart contract through our interface ethereum.init contract function, to which we pass the NFT contract address and the NFT ABI. Here we check if the seller has approved the marketplace yet. If the seller hasn't approved the marketplace yet, then we call the function set approval for all, which is defined in the Open Zeppelin contract ERC721. So that's all for today, but we will write the marketplace smart contract in the following video. So please click the like and the subscribe button below and thank you for watching.